Hey everybody, it's Dr. Steve Fleischer of Everybody's Chiropractic and Wellness here in King of Prussia, Pennsylvania. And today we are continuing our wake up call series of videos. And it's going to be talking about the discovery and the development of chiropractic. Spinal manipulation has been around for thousands of years. It dates back to ancient China and even Greece. In fact, the father of modern medicine, Hippocrates said, look well to the spine for the cause of disease. But let's fast forward a few years and into the North American continent. In Canada, a man named Daniel David Palmer was born. He immigrated into the United States in the 1800s. And he was a beekeeper, a teacher, a grocer, a fish peddler, and then he got into healing. He got into magnetism. Along this same time in the mid-1800s, a man named A.T. Still, Andrew Still, who was a medical doctor, uh, came back from the Civil War, and shortly afterwards, he lost his wife and his four children to spinal meningitis. He became disillusioned with the modern medical practices of his day and dedicated the rest of his career into developing and finding alternative means to help people get well. As such, he had a tremendous following and he helped many people. In fact, it led to osteopathy. Now along this time, D.D. Palmer was also learning about healing. And like I said, he was into magnetism, but he also caught wind of what Andrew Still was doing. And he started learning from him, and Andrew Still would manipulate the spine, but his philosophy behind it was that when you manipulated the spine, it was able to regulate the blood flow, and a person's health was solely based on how their blood was flowing. If it was carrying the proper amounts of oxygen and nutrients, and if the flow is as, as well as it was supposed to be. He felt like if there were any restrictions to the blood flow, well, that was the cause of disease. D.D. Palmer found this very interesting and curious. However, his philosophy was that a person's health isn't guided by how well the blood is flowing, but how, by how well the brain is communicating with the body through the nervous system. So they had their differing views. D.D. Palmer went his own way, and he sets up an office in Davenport, Iowa. He's working one day as a magnetic healer in his office, and a man named Harvey Lillard comes in. Harvey Lillard was the janitor. He'd been uh, working in the building for years, and he related a story to D.D. Palmer saying that 18 years earlier, he heard a loud pop in his neck when he turned, and he couldn't hear anymore. He lost his hearing. He couldn't hear his watch tick, and he couldn't hear the wagon wheels on the street. Well, after a 30-minute discussion, D.D. Palmer got Harvey Lillard to lay on his table, and he felt down his spine. He felt a lump at the base of his neck. He knew it shouldn't have been there, and unlike other manipulation methods of the time, D.D. Palmer decided to use the spinous process and the transverse process as lever arms to get the bones to move. He contacted that particular part of the spine, did a gentle thrust, and he heard a loud pop, and Harvey Lillard got up off the table, and as the story goes, he had his hearing completely restored after 18 years. He could hear his watch tick again, and he could hear the wagon wheels on the street. As a result, D.D. Palmer started seeing all kinds of people for deafness. But just like any other disease, there's many reasons why people go deaf. In Harvey Lillard's case, it was because he had a pinched nerve in his neck. So D.D. Palmer couldn't help every single person with their hearing problems. But each one of them noticed a dramatic change in all or nearly all of their health problems once they started getting adjusted. So, the first chiropractic patient didn't have neck pain, back pain, sciatica, or even headaches. The first chiropractic patient had hearing loss. Somewhere along the way, chiropractic got pigeonholed into musculoskeletal, but we'll get to that in a little bit. D.D. Palmer makes this great discovery. He's helping all these patients, and along comes his son, B.J. B.J. is a developer of chiropractic. He's written many books on it. He's given many lectures. He helped to grow his father's chiropractic college, Palmer in, Palmer in Davenport, Iowa, to the mega school that it has been that has put out some of the greatest chiropractors the world has ever seen. As a result of, D, of BJ's writings and teachings, a philosophy came out of it, of which there are 33 principles. In this Wake Up video series, you're going to be hearing me talk about my two favorite ones. They'll be coming up in the next videos. But let's get back to BJ Palmer. B.J. Palmer was an incredible person. Not only did he develop the philosophy, science, and art of chiropractic, he was also incredibly successful in radio and also writing business books. So he is an enigma. He was a great person, and chiropractic wouldn't be where it is today, and I might not even be where I am today if it wasn't for B.J. Palmer. So let's get back to chiropractic. 
and let's get back to this wake up call. Chiropractic is not for neck pain, back pain, headaches, and sciatica. Chiropractic is for your overall health. So those of you who have never been to a chiropractor before, you're not experiencing your health to the fullest. Sure, you may be able to get by, or maybe you've got a little bit of an ache or a pain here and there, but those are signs, those are symptoms telling you that something is wrong. Pills are just gonna cover up the symptoms and allow the problem to get worse. So letting that go on is a bad idea. Making sure that you've got your wake up call is a great idea for you to come in, get yourself an exam, get yourself, find out what's the cause of your problems so that we can correct them so that you can have the strongest health you can have, not only during this coronavirus time, but down the road in the future. So if you're interested in having better health or getting the problems that are causing your symptoms corrected, give us a call at 610-337-3700. You can check us out on the web at helpmedrsteve.com and doctor is DR. You can check out my Facebook page where you'll see this and other videos. It is Dr. Steve Fleischer Colon, Everybody's Chiropractic and Wellness. I hope you're enjoying this video series and I look forward to seeing you in my office. Until next time, Dr. Steve Fleischer of Everybody's Chiropractic and Wellness.